Hello there. I'm David Rosen, local real estate agent and host of New Yorkers Know, and today we are gonna see the coolest damn people on earth as we walk around and try out some goodies in one of my favorite neighborhoods just south of Houston, Soho. Nowadays, Soho is synonymous with high-end shopping, but it used to be a farm, of course. Then it was a red light district. Then it was a manufacturing district. And then it became an abandoned manufacturing district in a very dangerous place. Well, then artists in the 60s and 70s started moving into these abandoned factories and lofts, and it became an artist district. And from that uh, was born what we have today, which is a very high-end and chic living area, neighborhood, and of course, an epicenter of stylish shopping. The imprint of the artist history can be seen everywhere in Soho, from the stores to the architecture, but of course, all of the world's leading brands are here. I'm talking about Louis Vuitton, Fendi, Dior, Prada, Gucci, Boss, Ralph Lauren in two locations, Nike, Apple Store. Every major brand who wants to have a global presence has a boutique in Soho. Even the uh, Tiffany's store and Bloomingdale's are very popular. It's New York Fashion Week every week in Soho, on the streets and in the stores. Anything you could ever dream of is here in Soho, and it's extra, extra. And now for today's first trivia question. It's fashion week like every single day in Soho. But the semi-annual event has taken place officially all over New York for decades. New Yorkers know what two months out of the year does the official New York fashion week occur in. Stay tuned to the end for the answer to this and all of today's trivia questions. Now we're gonna segue into the Soho cast iron district. See, most of Soho is a nationally designated landmark. Come on, you knew I had to throw a little history in there. And this type of cast iron architecture can only be found here. The Soho Cast Iron Historic District was designated in the 1970s because it encompasses the largest collection of this type of cast iron architecture found anywhere. And the reason they used cast iron is because it was cheaper to build with and also quicker to fix than stone. It allowed construction in the city to go at a rapid clip and you could build a building in as short as about three to four months. All right, well, like all new development, they said it was gonna take a few months, but really it took a little bit longer. On the corner of Broadway and Broome is the Hofwatt building. They once sold glass chandeliers and painted china. It's one of the oldest complete cast iron buildings in Soho, in fact, anywhere. Built well over 150 years ago now, this building was the site of the world's first passenger elevator. At only five stories tall, it didn't need a passenger elevator, but it was an attraction that was designed to bring in customers, and it worked. But you couldn't have paid me a million bucks to take the world's first passenger elevator. The Soho Historic District is not just right in front of our eyes, it's also beneath our feet. So similar to cobblestones, this type of street paving is named for a Roman technique. For our second trivia questions, what is this technique called? If you're a New Yorker who doesn't yet know, stay tuned to the end and I'll tell you. All right, and now for my favorite and final Soho destination. When you've exhausted all there is to do in Soho standing up, you need to go to my favorite destination, the Dominique Ansel Bakery. Dominique Ansel is a James Beard award-winning chef. He's known for the cronut. So the cronut was a viral sensation. It started with just a blog post that got shared over 140,000 times in one day. Lines formed around the block and no one could get enough of this part croissant, part donut delicacy. And Time Magazine named the cronut one of the top 25 inventions of the year. And they were right. Devastatingly for me, they ran out of cronuts when I was there last. But they did have some delicious alternatives, including this banana bread tiramisu. Now that we've finished shopping, sightseeing, and snacking, it's time for today's third and final trivia question. 
New Yorkers know that we've always been on the cutting edge of dessert technology. And for today's final trivia question, what famous frosted cookie was invented in a bakery on the Upper East Side in the early 1900s? And now for today's trivia answers. Soho is undoubtedly chic, and people are constantly strutting their stuff. For today's first answer, New York Fashion Week takes place in February and September. Trivia question number two. Okay, sorry, I know, this one was really hard. Real New York nerds might know this. So this type of street paving is actually known as Belgian blocking. You learn something new every day. All right, for our final question, when you're not eating a cronut, one of the most famous frosted cookies in all the world was invented in New York on the Upper East Side in the early 1900s. And of course, I'm talking about the black and white cookie. Eat a little bit of the chocolate, eat a little bit of the vanilla, you're gonna be left with a big smile. So thanks everyone. This has been today's episode of New Yorkers Know, focusing on Soho. If you have any questions or feedback for me, my name's David Rosen, I'm a local real estate agent, and I'm a proud New Yorker. See you next time.